The Shrouded Stranger by Allen Ginsberg. One. The shroudy strangers reft of realms. Abhorred he sits upon the city dump. His broken heart's a bag of shit. The vast rainfall an empty mirror. Two. A dream. He climbed over the rim of the huge tower, looking down afraid, descended the escarpment, over sheaves of rock, crossed rail yard gullies, and vast river bridges on the groundward slope, under an iron viaduct, coming to a rivulet, in a still meadow by a small wood, where he stood trembling in the naked flowers, and walked under oak to the house of folk. Three, I dreamed I was dreaming again, and decided to go down the years looking for the shrouded stranger. I knew the old bastard was hanging around somewhere. I couldn't find him for a while. Went looking under beds, pulling mattresses off, and finally discovered him. Hiding under the springs, crouched in the corner. Met him face to face at last. I didn't even recognize him. I'll bet you didn't think it was me after all, he said. Four. Fragmenta Monumenti. It was to have a structure. It was going to tell a story. It was to be a mass of images moving on a page with a hollow voice at the center. It was to have told of time and eternity, to have begun in the rainfall's hood and moon, and ended under the streetlight of the world's bare physical appearance, begun among vultures in the mountains of Mexico, traveled through all America, and ended in garbage on River Street. Its first line was to be, Be with me, shroud, now, and the last, naked, on broken bottles between the brick walls, being the vision of the shrouded stranger of the night.